I don't. I'll have to learn it. Hey, guys. Hey, Bet and Larissa. Hey, Larissa. Hey, Norman. <laughs> hey, Harriet. Okay. Um, wow. So, one of the reasons why I like to come on here when I don't know the song 100% is because that... Oh, Kate is here. Okay, good. Kate, this one's for you. Is because um, I realize that's where my stage fright is, is when I'm a little bit um, nervous if I don't know a song, like, by muscle memory. So, coming on here without knowing the song perfectly is helping me, like, get over my stage fright. So... And being able to make mistakes and, like, be okay with that. Hey, Robert and Mom. Okay, so, Kate, this one is for you. Um, yeah. Okay. So, Over the Rainbow. Um, okay. Hello guys. Hi Candy. Um, I'm outside and, and today I'm painting. Um, I just felt like, you know, we were having so much trouble. I'm having so much trouble with this gypsy that I'm painting here right now that I thought that maybe if I got, because I'm painting her in nature, um, maybe what I was missing was nature. And um, so I'm outside in nature in my courtyard of my studio. And I'm working on her. And the music you were listening to when we first came on, I'm working on that gypsy. Hi, cuz from another ocean. Good to see you. Um, I was my friend Levon. She sang to me last night on socially disconnected. Oh my God, I get that wrong every time. What is it? Socially distant fest. Socially distant fest. And it, every night of the week, Socially Distant Fest is for artists, um, musicians to come on and sing. And you can donate to them if you'd like. I mean, they're out of work and that's how they make their living um, and enjoy their music. And levon has been going on and, and she's excellent. And she's had a little bit of a stage fight, fright. And, um, so this has been really good for her to get back into singing and playing her guitar. And, and she's singing to me on socially distant fest just to me she sang she was waiting for kate and then she learned to play somewhere over the rainbow for me and because i do everything with rainbows and with color and so um and she sang that to me and it was the most special thing i'm one of the specialest things i've ever had anybody do and it was right on the internet live laura you must have got a, a message Laura, I'm going to unveil maybe what I might be making. You might want to stick around. I'm not going to stay on long because guess what? At 2 o'clock my time, Eastern time, 12 o'clock Colorado time, uh, 11 o'clock California, and 1 o'clock Minnesota, because that's who most of the, you guys are all from. Ooh, there's something crawling around in the tree. I hope it's not a rat or something. If it is, it can join me. Anyway, they, um, oh, it's a bird. Uh, um... Kathy Weiss is coming on with uh, T and Tarot, and um, and she you can ask a question in a lot of the times. I mean, mostly, and then she does a lot of chanting and she has to plays her guitar also. But I just love the fact that she adds the tarot to it and the T to it. Then she has a private one that you uh, can donate to to go on on Thursdays. 
Um, again, she's a musician and that's how they make their living. Um, on Thursday, she has a, a private class um, that's a much smaller uh, group of people where you can really ask. Um, There's my star. Oh my God, I'm starstruck. LaVon, you got, you got a fan. What am I? A groupie. I'm a groupie. I'm going to make t-shirts that say uh, L.A. Jones for president. I don't know. But anyways, you are my rock star. You definitely are my number one rock star. And you sang so beautiful to me last night. I couldn't even believe it. And it's how, you know, just listening to you. And I play you all the time. And I just love that you're doing this. Because it means a lot to me to have you with me in my studio. It really does. And uh, it inspires me. Very much so. And, and this is a time that I'm really lacking inspiration. And that's why I'm, I'm kind of relying on you guys. That's why I come on here. Is this because it gives me something that I have to do to get on here. Like I have to paint or I have to create in some form. And uh, I'm not a TV watcher, so that wouldn't be a problem. But uh, yeah. Hi, Vaughn. Good to see you. We got Liv on and Vaughn. So, you know, yesterday we went back to her. Remember her? Our gypsy um, from the... Can you see her? Because I like the sunshine on her, so I kind of want to keep that on her. Because that's kind of pretty. And I was just... He, what she is, you know... I lost the inspiration photo, but I had gotten an inspiration photo from a fairy book. And what I liked about the fairy book was there was this woman and she was... Um, she wasn't coming out of a portal as this one is, but she was just, she's a fairy actually, and this one is not. This is a gypsy, but she actually had this branch that went through her hair. And on the branch, through all of her hair wrapped up on like this, she had this branch. And uh, many times I put my uh, paintbrush through my hair. That's what she should have. They should be paintbrushes, shouldn't they? What do you guys see on it? Of course, so I got the nature down here and I got the birds. Anyway, somewhere maybe I got to incorporate a paintbrush. But anyway, I'm putting flowers in her hair today and then I'll put birds and butterflies and of course my signature bumble butt bee, okay? Uh, and hopefully we can get her done and out of here pretty soon. And she has not got symbols in it yet. And none of the gypsies have symbols. But this is for an or oracle card deck. And I think I'm on about 20 of them now. So, and each one has uh, different, uh, like this, this obviously is going to be, a, uh, you know, in the gypsy theme. It's going to be about nature and getting back into nature. Um, there's lovebirds here. So, it might have to do with relationships. So you see how I put them together and how I, I kind of write them. And then I usually write a poem about each one or a little saying about each one that'll be included in the Oracle cards. Look at I'm taking off my, and then, um, but anyways, it's an old fashioned gypsy deck. So it'll be fun. Hi, Mary, how are you doing today? Mary, I've been crocheting, but I have not been doing any weaving. I kind of feel bad for not weaving. Mm. And I got a lemonade today. I hope it doesn't give me acid reflux. Lately it has been, but this is so good and it's so fresh when you're outside. Mm. Orange blossoms. I do too, Vaughn. Orange blossoms. Can You can't post a picture. I'll have to look what one looks like. It's been, I used to have about six orange trees in my yard, but we got a disease about 15 years ago in Cape Coral and Fort Myers and the city came out and cut down every single orange tree we had. Oh, they, I had grapefruit trees and orange trees lining this whole side of the house. Let's see, I'll show you. This is, this is the courtyard. I'll see it back there. And that's the river out there. And that's the Tiki Hut where we were last night. And then that's the door into my studio. I don't know if you can see or not, see? And then the driveway. So now that y'all know how to get to my house, right? Probably pretty stupid to do that, but anyways, I'm very secure. Hi, Patty Moberg. I hear that you are home, safe and sound. How was the drive through the through the United States? Mark's coming to get me one of these days, and we're just kind of watching that because he doesn't have to stay in hotels because he's traveling in a motorhome, but 
he will have to stop at two gas stations um, on on the way. Yeah, Levon, your mom and I are going to have a beer at the Tiki Hut when my sign is done. My sign's not done. I'm struggling with that. An orange blossom. Are they white? Like little white blossom. Aren't they little white? Yeah, I think they're like a, like this. Watch. Something like that. Ooh, you didn't see it. <laughs> white with yellow. I'm just writing in chalk so it comes off. All right, we'll put some orange blossoms in. We got a little white going here. Anyway, like I was saying, um, Lavanya should go on, and she's probably going to do more chanting. Have you ever done that chanting or heard of that? I think, I don't know how you say it, but it's Bhaktia. Bhaktia. Um, pretty cool, actually. Or, no, cherry blossoms are pink, right? So I don't want to do pink. Just white and yellow. Or orange. Orange is yellow, so that we know what it is. Um, have you heard of that, Levon? Uh, um, Batiking? And it, anyway, it's where, you know, she, it's where you chant. And you've got these chants. Oh, man, they're so cool. And I really like it because I like it with the drumming. Hi, Mel. Um, I like it with the drumming. Um, which is why I like, I want to learn to chant and drum and get my voice kind of, I mean, look at it. My voice isn't even as bad as it usually is because I'm really not suffering from the sinus problem. I really got over that. I think let's hope knock on wood, wood tree. So, uh, we're going to stick some little blossoms in here. Of course they'd be white against my white birch tree. So today on Live at 5, we had a challenge of, we, um, we had the challenge of, here, I want you to see this, not me. Ooh, Lord have mercy. My thing is flying all over. How do I tighten that up? That's crazy, isn't it? There we go. Um, it, um, uh, it was, we had to take a piece of fabric. I'm not so sure I really like this challenge much, but that's what a challenge is all about, isn't it? If you don't like, you know, you don't always like every challenge that you're going to get. And we had to take a piece of fabric. Oh, I'll probably get this wrong too. And we had to incorporate it into making something. And the something had to be an ocean theme. So that was really tough. Really, really super tough. I ocean theme. Hmm. I mean, it, I should have just made it easy on myself. Made a fish. Yes, I could have done that. Why I didn't do that? Don't ask me why. I make everything super, super tough. No matter what, I have to go tough. Can't do it the easy way. Oh, I like the way that brush is giving the lines. And... So I went and looked in my stock of books. Thank God I didn't give it to the Goodwill. It was in my trunk going to the Goodwill. And I got this Sea Living book. And it's got really pretty, pretty, you know, and what was I thinking giving this up? This, I could use this in painting for colors to, you know, this, I could make a whole book about the color theory and color wheel and color magic out of this book because the colors in the bottom of the sea are incredible. Look at that sea turtle. I need to paint my cousin that sea turtle because she loves sea turtles. That's what I should have done. But instead, Laura, shut your eyes. Shut your eyes, Laura. You're not allowed to see this. Don't you look, Laura. Are your eyes shut? Promise. I don't know why this is not okay. I'm going to give you some idea of my piece of fabric. There it is. So, that's what I'm working on tonight. It's supposed to be an under 30 minute project. This one will not. This one cannot because 
I can't make something with fabric under 30 minutes. I can make it in a day, but not under 30 minutes. But it will be, I'll try to make it an hour or so. So, see what we can come up with in an hour or so. Yeah, it might have to be longer than that. You know, it's quite warm out here in Florida today, but we do have a nice little breeze. Why I have my head so close, I have no idea. I never paint like that. I'm a painter like this. I don't get it. I'm just being weird, I think. So, what is everybody doing today with their um, beautiful Tuesday? It's a beautiful Tuesday. Thank you all for being here with me because, you know, as you all know, that I'm riding this whole damn thing out by myself at this point. I do get Jenny once in a blue moon. She's at work today. She's at school. She's an, an essential employee, but I'm going to tell you she's the only one in the school besides the um, custodian. And the doors are locked, so no one can get in, and she just has to be there to answer phones. Good for you, Melanie. I love that you're making the masks. I should be making masks out of this fabric too. But I think a lot of people are making masks. I might make some masks that match my headbands. Becky Apple, good to see you again, my dear. I miss you guys all. Oh. Now, for you guys that don't aren't part, don't come up to the schoolhouse or don't under, know what the schoolhouse is. I own a schoolhouse in that was built in 1867. It's a three, a two-room schoolhouse. Blah, losing my mind. It's a two-room schoolhouse, and I purchased it eight and a half, eight years ago. I think it's just only eight years now. But I've been involved in Afton for about ten years when my mother had gotten sick, and my grand, my aunt and I. We're, we're gonna do a family reunion. My mother got cancer and it didn't look like she was gonna make it and it would be nice to pull her, our family. She had gotten um, uh, throat cancer. Well, it was upper palate cancer and then it turned into lung cancer and then, well, you know, what happens then? And so we were, and what we didn't know was is that my grandparents um, came from Afton. And all these years I had not known that at all. Um, I knew, we knew that that my grandpa Al's uh, parents or parent mother and his grandparents were buried somewhere because he would go once a week to the graveyards down towards the river and, um, and visit them every week. And uh, of course he would come back a little tipsy and so we knew he was I think we kind of knew, but I was too young to know he was in Afton because we went to Afton. There was a famous place call in there called um, Lurk's Bar, and it was everybody came from all over to get a Lurk Burger, and he would go and have a burger. Hi, Gail. You know all this story. Gail's on, and that's what I'm talking about right now. Anyway, she, we went to, um, we, Gail and I went down to the Afton and. We were looking up our ancestors in the graveyard once we had discovered, I think Charlie had discovered that there was a graveyard down in, her, Charlie is her daughter. Her name is Veronica, but we love to call her Charlie. So, um, and then, uh, so we went down there and I became very fast friends with the woman who was running the museum at the time, her name is Pam. And uh, so I started volunteering in the museum and I wanted to volunteer because my ancestors, I had found out, had all lived down there and they had come from Prussia. Uh, ten children came from Prussia in the 1850s and uh, four of those brothers that came over from um, Prussia land, landed in Ellis Island and then they went to um, down to Afton because Afton was advertising for great farming. But little did we know they were tailors, not farmers, but three of them became tailors, three of the brothers, or became farmers and our Ours pretty much, I, from what we're understanding, it remained a tailor. He never did own property. He lived with the brothers or he lived in town where the schoolhouse is. So that being said is that my great grandfather actually attended school in the building and they lived in the town. So when I'm walking through the streets of Afton, Minnesota, I'm walking the streets that my ancestors walked 
the very same streets doing the very same thing that they did. So it's kind of, you know, there's some very nostalgic feelings there. So when I purchased the schoolhouse, I purchased it because it was in a foreclosure and it was affordable and I could afford it. And I wanted a place to work and have a studio. And I had, I opened this and then once I opened the studio, I didn't know what to do with it. It wasn't even really a studio for, um, for, for public use. It was really just supposed to be a studio for me. Jenny's on, Cynthia's on. Hi everybody for coming on. Um, it was really just supposed to be a studio for me and um, pretty soon people started showing up and they wanted to know how I was doing this and doing that. And we, Since I was already teaching and since I already did have a studio that I was teaching in here in Florida, it just continued with that. And I was teaching up the lake also at our cabin. So I just started teaching and take, giving classes and then the studio took off and then the studio got so busy that I couldn't even teach anymore because I was so busy running an event center. I'm hoping when I get back, I'm, I'm going to teach a little bit more and, uh, and have a little more hands-on as far as uh, creativity and the learning of creativity. But um, when we open back up again, of course, we're closed as everyone else is. And um, so that's how the studio began. And so Melanie, uh, she comes from the studio. Vaughn comes from the studio. Um, a lot of the people that you see on here, um, this is knowledge for you, Californians, Coloradans, and everybody else from around the world, Chris, uh, who knows my story is uh, over in, uh, in, on the other side of the pond. And so, but he already knows the story. And uh, that's how the schoolhouse began. And it's a very, very special place. We've had a lot of special memories, special people go through the studio and be part of the studio and move and some actually move on and do their own thing you know and get their own stuff and some have never even touched a paintbrush or a piece of jewelry or created in any way whatsoever in their entire lives and the next thing you know they're going wild with it all so and then there's others that are very very gifted like for instance we have um, Dirk Hansen who's a wildlife artist and he's known internationally uh, he's uh, fabulous. He's had stamps. He's um, he, he has collectors from all over the world. The guy has just spent his whole life painting. He's a real realistic painter, and it's like picture perfect. We've got Gloria Popowitz, who has awesome paintings. She's whimsical, a lot of abstract. She loves her Picasso paintings. She teaches um, in acrylic. We have, uh, Dirk also teaches an oil painting. We have myself, who I do a lot of paper paintings and I do a lot of just whatever, pick up the slack kind of thing in lots of different mediums for whatever anybody wants to learn. Uh, let's see, what else do we got going on down there at that studio? We have so much going on. We have concerts in the courtyard in the summer where we have uh, bands on the stage. We get uh, uh, musicians and performers from all over the world. Uh, we've even had them come from Ireland, which is, was really an honor for us. Um, we've had um, several um, local and uh, national performers that have been that have honored us with um, performing. It's just been a blast down there, and yeah, I'm kind of missing it. And we normally would be getting ready to get going on the studio right now, but um, and I would be planning the classes, but it doesn't look like we're going to open anytime soon. So uh, the spring classes won't begin. We usually do an ultimate girls night out, which was uh, once a month. And we do um, competitions both in house and out of house. Uh, kind of like what we do on, our, on our, our 15 day thing that we're doing here, our 15 day challenge for the virus uh, visions um, that we do at five o'clock where we challenge you into something. But you get a whole month, you get a whole month to come up with your challenge. So. Uh, where we're just doing 24 hours because ours is supposed to be just brief. LaDonica, I love you. I posted all of your bear painting. LaDonica, did you see that? You can go on your iPhone and you can Google like a bear or safari, a bear, and then go down and it says watch in 3D and it comes, pops up and it's in your, wherever you're at in your living room and it's like in your house in 3D. I thought that was so cool. I think I want to do a painting with that too. LaDonica and I are going to do a painting together online for you guys. We need to get together. I almost texted you this morning, LaDonica, um, about 
about that, but I know, you know, so that we can get our ideas together. I know you're waiting for canvases. But those canvases takes too long, you know. I know you don't like painting on wood. I don't think you like the wood or, you know, you don't like the journal, but yeah, I don't like painting on wood either. I think if you put enough gesso on the wood, it would be better. So I'm not, I don't know. LaDonica, do you have any big pieces of wood around? And then there's another project I have to have done before I leave here, and that's Oh, I have to make these big panel boards for my daughter's school. I got so much to do. What time is it? We got to keep a watch on the time because I'm going, I'm going on tea and tarot at two o'clock my time, Eastern time. So we got about five minutes here, and I got to let y'all go. Um, Jenny, I didn't get the turkey in the oven. Guess what? I forgot, and it's going to take eight hours. It says. I don't think it. I think that's wrong. But anyway, I got a different meal if you want to come over, I, if you're still coming by. I have roasted vegetables mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a pork chop. So the good protein, or no, roasted vegetables and salmon. We're going to have salmon today. Um, that would be good. I'm going to put this one here, one of my favorite flowers when I was a kid. Can you guys see this? Hi, Dawn. One of my favorite flowers when I was a kid was called the Black-Eyed Susan. And they used to grow right along the side of our road, roadways in Minnesota. And I can remember riding up to Grand Rapids, Minnesota, where we had a cabin. And with my um, stepfather and my mother, and and uh, they we would stop on the side of the road and pick Black-Eyed Susan's bouquet. And I just, I... I loved them, always have. They're yellow flowers. They look like a daisy, but they have a brown um, center. And uh, they were a special flower, really special to me. And then in Afton, they grow along the side of the roads. And then there's all these sunflowers that grow on the side of the roads. But there's so many black-eyed Susans in fall going down the Highway 18 into the town of Afton where I enter. That it, to me, it reminds me of the song Fields of Gold. That's what I think of when I see all those yellow black-eyed Susans or daisies. Oh, you're going to sneak it? Why do you have to sneak it? I just eat it. Actually, for lunch, I ate my leftovers from last night, too. I had, uh, we had, I don't know why, I just have been eating this like crazy. I'm going to get so sick of it. Oh, it's, I know you guys are going to say it's gross. <sighs> Potatoes, sauerkraut, and sausage. And corn on the cob. <sighs> Biscuits and gravy from scratch? Whoa. I know, you know... I'm at a standstill, LaDonica, with this painting, and I don't know what to do with it. And so I decided to, if because I'm painting nature in the painting, that I should probably get into nature. But you know, I got to tell you, it's hotter than Hades out here. Did I say Hades or hell? I one or the other, but it's hot. It's like being on an island. Whew, I think I'm kind of on an island because we're like a pen peninsula down here in the southern Florida. I know, it was so good. Melanie... I can't quit eating it. I've had it like five times since this thing started. And then I make enough so I can have it for lunch the next day. Okay, here's the painting. It's the same one from yesterday. So, anyway, it's I'm having trouble with it. And it's for the Oracle card deck, the gypsy for that. And it's going to be the one about nature. There's lovebirds in it. Um, I, get, I haven't wrote the story or poem on it yet. You think it's got more depth now? It's getting a little better. I'm just so not good, you know, at painting people. And I don't know why I'm making them. I have to have them skin toned. I think it's because I, in my mind I got an oracle card deck in my head and 
I got a vision of the way they're supposed to look in the Oracle card deck. Yes, I am going to put little birds on the stick. I'm going to put butterflies and I am going to put my signature bumble butt in there. Yeah, Melanie, you know what? This is 24 by 30 and this is the size I like because I like to frame them around. I put black frames on them and I put them in my piano room. But, um, and they match them because I get a black lacquer piano when they match the piano so they kind of pop. But I think there's one size bigger, 30 by something, um, 30 by 36 at Walmart. And the 24 by 30s are two for like 15 or 16 bucks. They're not very good quality. Um, but I'm not concerned about them lasting forever, uh, especially in today's day and age, because I'm, when this is all said and done, these are all going to be photographed and then they're all going to be put into a Oracle card deck, but then I'll go into Photoshop and clean them up so that they have nice color and pretty color and, um, send them off to a printer. And who knows? I'll have my own set. If it's just for me, it's for me. I don't care, but it'll be fun. I know the bumble butt will make it even so. I have to have my signature bumble butt in there. I always make bumble butts. My signatures, and what are yours? What is everybody's? Melanie, what's your signature pieces that you always put in a painting? LaDonica, um, Laura, I put bubbles. Oh, look at the little bird. Hi there. It's a mockingbird. Are you mocking me? Um, it, I put a bumble butt, I put a bubble. Those are two things I always put in. What else do I put in? There's certain things that I'm always adding. So. You know, when I ordered my canvases, LaDonica, I just ordered on Amazon and it took two days. But you're in the mountains. I forgot how much I love lemonade. I had three slashes. Three slashes where? Oh, you add three slashes. You put dragonflies. I know, Melanie, you're dragonfly. See how much we know about each other? I know that that is your sober symbol is a dragonfly. You know, that's why Dick Glick takes forever. Amazon was just like right away. And they only charged me the same amount as they charge for Walmart. So, you know, and they got delivered to my door and I don't have to try to get them home without poking a hole in them. And they came in a beautiful box and my friend, uh, they came in two cause I ordered 12 of them. They come in a box of six, my size stuff does. And my friend Laura, um, is going to take the box because she has to go back to Pennsylvania and she's got lots of canvases she's painted. David, we didn't get to connect down here and I'm so sad about that. I miss you, buddy really do we thought we were gonna have some fun one night and do some singing you know what Amazon only has does not have many golden paints I need to order now I have heard that Michaels is open they're only letting 10 people in the store at one time which includes the employees so you got to go into the store so there's just a few people in there when you're in there and then you have to leave the store but you can go to Michaels but Michaels doesn't have great colors not like like Dick Blick. What are you doing these days, David? David, we've been talking about you. Mm -hmm. Talking about you, buddy. No, good things. We think that you need to put your uh, jewelry and you need to make a store so we can share it with everybody and take pictures or do whatever you got to do. Because um, like Laura and myself and Jenny, we have pieces that we want and we had picked them out last summer. So, actually, we could tell you what we want. I'm not sure because I'm kind of all over the board, but I'll take, I like everything. Okay, you pop off. I'm going to pop off too because guess what? Tea and Tarot with K Katie Weiss is now beginning. So, David, I have to let you go, but think about that, okay, buddy? And uh, Dawn, I don't know if Joanne's is open. I heard uh, no, but... I'll check. I know Hobby Lobby is closed. I did check on that. Oh, and I want to show you before we go. Live at 5 tonight. If you guys can, it's 5 o'clock Eastern time. Pop on. If not, watch replay. 
but our challenge was to create something using one piece of fabric, any size, and to create something that um, uh, is ocean-like. So here's my, right there. So that's what I'm gonna be working on while I listen to Tea and Tarot. All right, David, thanks, and do that. All right, thank you everybody for being patient with me today and uh, for all your good advice on the painting. And we'll come back and hopefully tomorrow, I'll let you know if I'm not coming on because if I get busy, but one of these days I really do got to get or do some cleaning. Oh, that's right, my house is already clean. Well, I gotta find something to do. Anyway, um, yes, please do that. Please, David, because we will help and support you and get that jewelry out. You've got the best ever. That's why you do so well. We, we're all we're all just you should see his pieces people out there you should see them they're just fabulous uh i the ring that changes the the dragonflies the dragonfly earrings i don't know you know i got dragonfly earrings um uh laura got a necklace melanie you should see how cool they are so all right, thanks for everybody, and we'll see y'all tomorrow, and we'll see you at Live at 5 if you can make it. And uh, have a great rest of your afternoon. Sending big gloves, and see you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, wait, I want to go out with this song by my rock star. My rock star. Her name is Lavon L.A. Jones. Can you see her? Nope, you can only see the beautiful sunshine. Anyways, sending love to you all. Go on, L.A. Jones, my rock star, my friend, sang that to me last night on a social network that has thousands of people. She sang that special to me, even said my name. I am a rock star. Love to all.